This match could easily tip in either direction. It'll just need the right spark. And joining me is former All Black, Justin Marshall. And Justin, it's set to be a good game. Yeah, totally agree. Should be a good match up this one. Well, there's a decent attendance here. The players will appreciate that. Well, they're a boot-happy pair, these two teams. I imagine there'll be a lot of jousting for field position. So, a lot to expect here. This should be a superb game of rugby. And almost ready to go here. Here we go, we're underway. Rather speculative pass. The dummy is there. He's stopped now by Blidiot. The right winger picks it out of the back. Now the chaser is coming forward onto this. Picked up by Newton. Flat to North. He scoots ahead. What a run, he just keeps going. He's beaten two. Takes it on the bounce. This will be a 22 dropout. <laughs> Gopeth makes the restart from the 22. Hayes, short pass. That tackle hasn't slowed him down. Powerful defence. Gopeth stops him now. Got through the first tackle. North still going. And he's out of the tackle. Hall is close to the try line. The open side flanker gets the first. Well, how significant a try will that be? What a finish from the back rower. Just have a look and see how good this try was. set for the conversion. Shot at goal now from Newton. And the flags are up. And the score now, seven to nothing. the kickoff is made. The back rower takes in the kickoff. Almost got out of the first tackle, but did well. The pass finds Hayes. Short pass goes to Clark. And out it goes. So this is a line-out. Jones grabs it, breaks through, cut out pass for the second 5-8, breaks the tackle and pushes on. More formed, 
McFadden is controlling it at the back. Jones now. And he's lost the ball forward. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. We'll have a look here. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. First scrum of the match. Touch. Pause. Good pushing from both teams. And a good battle going on here. The number nine off the bat. The ball lost forward. He's playing advantage. He possibly just took his eye off the ball slightly and then just knocked it on. It's been brought back for the scrum. Let's watch here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. Crouch. Touch. Pause. A brutal contest in the scrum. Both teams putting pressure on. The ball is out, collected by Redden. Newton goes inside. Nice run by Flanagan. Flat ball from Thomas. Kicks it deep into the opposition half. And the kick goes dead. A scrum now. Touch. Pause. Engage. The halfback rolls it in. So far, the defence has been holding out really well. They look pretty pleased with themselves after that scrum. The scrums have been good, putting the opposition under a lot of pressure. Now flicks it to the front rower. The blindside flanker thumped into the ground. And the penalty goes against Flanagan. Well, it looked high to me, and the ref agreed too. I think he's lucky to get away with just the penalty. That was rash of him. I've seen men get a card for less. Well, just have a look here. Good decision. The contact was too high, and they'll take the penalty. Gopeth has a chance to add another three if he can land this long-range effort. Right, here's the kick. Kick missed and play resumes. The first five unable to tackle effectively. Now it's off to Gopeth. Inside now to the second five eighth. Evans unable to hold it. McFadden finally stopped. It's been brought back for the scrum. Here's the replay. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Crowd. And now the scrum to pack. <laughs> Furious looking scrum down there. Both teams putting pressure on. The halfback picks up. McFadden sends it flat. The right winger, he... And he's over! The try scored in the corner. Yes, that's very impressive, I have to say. This is an exceptional try. This is pure entertainment. What a great try. You couldn't really ask for much more. Kick at goal still to come. This conversion, not an easy one. It's going to take a bit of finesse. Uh. 
so just curling away and I just wonder if that's going to be a telling miss well his balance wasn't good and he's missed the kick as a result Newton kicks off Cronin waits a cut out pass to Coco the second five with a good burst of speed Newton picked up the penalty oh yeah that was a high one and he's lucky to get away with just a penalty well have a look at this good spotting by the referee it was definitely high that tackle Gopeth will look to find the sideline. The ball is in touch. Well, here's a moment. They're all looking for holes in that defence. Let's see what they can do. Run by Jones. The halfback flicking it off. The restart at the 22 from Newton. Claimed by the number nine. With a little flick to the number eight. The tackle's not enough. Poker races away. And that's a penalty. He's dead set being hit by a beast, flattened by the high arm. He could be in real trouble for that, Nisbo. We could see a card here. Let's look at this replay. He clearly went above the chest. The ref is right to call it. Looking to take the lead with this kick. Gopeth lines this one up. Well, scoring before half time would give them a big psychological boost, which they need. He passed to the support from Davies. Cronin snaps it up and taken finally. Passes for the back rower advantage over. and advantage is over. On to the number 12 and he's very nearly through. Here's a chance. Jones feeds it off now. That's headed straight for Paul. A oh, terrible mistake from Newton. He's lost it right on his own line. And we'll just have a look at this. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. Seven points to five at the break here. It's a good-sized crowd here in Rome, and I expect they'll be looking forward to another excellent half of rugby. There's not been a lot between these two in the first half. Not the tidiest of matches so far. We can have a look at the stats now. Position is pretty even, actually. Two yellow cards given out in the first half. The discipline has been left wanting at times. They'll just need to pay attention to the penalties they're conceding. That penalty count is quite high. Ready to go for the second half. Now the kickoff. Number seven to secure this. He's beaten three. Pops it to Thomas. Boy, he can really motor. Lydiot with a running opportunity again. He's over. They never gave up there, and in the end, they came away with a brilliant try. Exceptional skill, superb try. He's a talented all-round footballer, isn't he? Just have a look here at the try. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away, and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Here comes the conversion. Conversions don't come much easier than this.
There's the conversion. Kickoff is made. Kickoff dragged down by Lydiot. Lydiot thumped into the ground. Gets it off to Domingo. Completely fools him with the dummy. The lock unable to stop him. McFadden misses him. And it was lost forward by Flanagan. Advantage applies here. Oh, it's a shame. He did really well before the knock on. A big kick downfield by Gopeth. Advantage is gone now. Newton lets it bounce. Putting his foot down now. And he's knocked over the line. Redden cutting out his teammates. Newton has got a bit of room here and off he goes. Davies not quite so easy to put away. And that's a knock on by Thomas. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Touch. Pause. And the scrum fed by the scrum half. A brutal contest in the scrum. Halfback takes the ball. The scrums have been very effective, and I'm sure they'll want to continue that throughout the match. Delivers the pass out to Gopeth. It sits up for Newton. The number 15 is exhibiting some great catching this match, Nisbo. The right winger keeps going. Feeds it off to Cronin. And down he goes in the tackle. Throws it on for the number six. He's been taken out of play there. So they'll have a line out. Five out from the 22. The line out claimed against the throw. Hines launches it high. The open side flanker under the high ball and well taken. Nice defence. They might still have it. Delivers the ball to Pines. Yes, there's the try. Well, he appeared to be boxed in, but somehow he's made it over. This is what happens from constant pressure. They continue to probe the line and they've come away with a great result. Just check the build up in the replay here. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. It almost looked pre-planned. Next up, we'll have the conversion. Gopeth lining it up. Important kick, this one. Now the kick, sailing towards the uprights. And the kick is over. Score now, 14 to 12. Well, you couldn't ask for a better matchup between these two teams. The score shows just how even they are. And the kickoff is made here. The kickoff downs up the hooker. Jones, lovely tackle. Hayes, probing run towards the line. And he dives over for the try. Well, there were some outstanding individual contributions to that try.
so we get another look at the build up to this try. You can see his pace here, it is remarkable. No one could catch him, but it was a great pass that set him up. They've got their five, they could get their seven. So this conversion, an easy one, Newton. Conversion made, easy. They've got a lot of points from goal kicking in this game so far. Plenty of length to the kickoff. Kickoff fielded by Bishop. Short, clever pass. Back inside to Smith. Now it's Blidiot. Hayes with a good spurt. Oh, that's a shocker. Now flat. Pocock has plenty of pace. The crowd are out of the seats. That is a try. Well, it was very good work there. They just kept the applying pressure and something had to break in the end. Well, that is a magnificent try. Right up there with the best number sevens in the world, David Pocock. And the conversion to come. Very important conversion here with respect to the scores. So, straightforward kick, right in front of the posts. Gopeth converts the try and it's 21-19. Well, that's the right thing to do. Get some points on the board to put the pressure on the opposition. Newton gets us going again as the kickoff is claimed by the number six. Running straight at Palmy. He's been hit hard. And it looks like it might be a turnover. And the ball's turned over. Gives it to Flanagan. The back rower fails to put his man away. Flanagan gathers up the loose ball. Taken by Tate. I think it was a very good line out. Good execution from the captain. They get him this time. Ball pops back for the scrum half. Now the pass to Gopeth. Cut out ball. Hines getting up some real pace. Oh, and he's almost there. And this guy gets close to the line. Pocock picks it up. The number eight, looking to score here. Jones has scored the try. This was brilliant work. Everything they did in the lead-up was very well executed. Excellent work to get another in quick succession. Everything he is doing at the moment is turning to gold. Well, I'd definitely like to see this again. Conversion to follow. Gopper lining it up. Important kick this one. The kick now right in front. No trouble with that. Two more points. Crucial time to score, isn't it? This one's going to be exciting until the finish. The restart from Newton. The kickoff snapped up by Cronin. That's three he's beaten. 
That's an awful pass. The right winger keeps going. He shows a clean pair of heels. No one's going to be able to drag him down. It's a certain try. And that's his second try of the match. Just breaking through the line with amazing gas. And the finishing was superb. Wonderful. He is highly rated, and you can see why. Now we're looking at the replay for the build-up to the try. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. It almost looked pre-planned. Gopeth has the conversion. This should turn into an easy seven points with the conversion. Six minutes remaining. Kicks and walks away. He knows it's over. The goal kicking has been pretty good so far in this game. Five minutes left here. The number 15 kicks off. It's a short one. Kick off nicely taken in by Cronin. That's a knock on. Redden goes down and gets it. Not long to go now. The last few plays of the match. Cronin gets it away. It's been brought back for the scrum. Well, have a look at this. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. And they'll go to a scrum. Now let's just see how the scrum holds up this time. It's been under huge pressure. Ball comes for Britain. The tackle's not enough. Lydiot finally tackled. Redden picks and goes. And he's driven into touch. It's been an interesting game here. The right winger was the leading try scorer. He had a good game. Position wise, it was a pretty even match. Until next time, it's bye from us.